Why is it when you start telling other people your story and your trials and tribulations and the things that you've overcome and how great you are, they instantly go into comparison themselves to your greatness? Oh, I did that. Oh, I've been through that. Oh, I, I feel the same way. My favorite one is when someone says, oh, we all been through things. You know, she's been through things just like we all have. That's a tactic to distract people from actually being interested and in understanding your greatness. Because when someone, when someone generalizes your trials and tribulations in comparison to the fact that we've all been through things, that is a clear sign they're not interested in what you've been through and they don't want other people to be interested in it either. So they try to dismiss it with a covert attack like, oh, we've all been through things. Can you listen to someone's story without comparing yourself to their, to their pain? That's, that's something that I really have a hard time and I'm advocating not just for myself, but other people who have struggled to be acknowledged for their greatness. We, we are, we are a world full of people with different souls Therefore, have different destinies, different bodies, different DNA, which means we have different capabilities. We can't all sit around comparing ourselves to each other and, and ultimately diminishing each other's individual purposes just because we're insecure and we can't help but compare ourselves to someone else's achievements. I just don't, I don't really appreciate people trying to disempower and generalize my trials and tribulations and achievements because it makes them feel insecure about the things that they haven't done or the things that they don't embody that I do. It's just, I don't want to intimidate people. I want to be acknowledged for my greatness and supported in my ability to empower other people's greatness. But humans don't think like that. They go, inst they go instantly into their insecurities and disempower your greatness. So let me ask you this. How can someone who is destined for greatness make a difference in people's lives if all people do is try to diminish them and compare themselves to them and generalize their abilities, talents, and achievements? This is what I'm saying. As a society, as a human society, we have to appreciate each other. We have to acknowledge each other's individual strengths, abilities, purposes, gifts, without trying to, you know, um, feel jealous about it. I just, I really don't, I really don't understand why people get all jealous and insecure when they listen to how hard my life has been and then they're like, oh, it wasn't that bad. What you don't know, and you certainly don't know how strong I am, so you can either be my friend and support me so that I can support you, or you can just be jealous and immature and low vibrational and I don't have to be around you. Greatness is all about surrounding yourself with people who don't have to compare their greatness to yours. It's about letting someone be themselves empowered in their own power without feeling insecure. It's time to empower each other and I was meant for greatness. The things that I have overcome make people feel insecure. I understand that. I'm a very, very strong, resilient, determined person. I understand that I intimidate people. I'm not hiding it anymore. I'm just not. And people, if they can't come up on me correct, I'm not going to even give them a time of day. I can literally feel people. And if I'm ignoring them, there's a reason. I only talk to people I can feel their greatness. I'm just a really higher evolved person and that intimidates people. They can't take it. They cannot understand how I am so powerful and it makes them feel like crap, but it's not my problem. You can either rise to the occasion and be great with me or stay below me and try to pull me down. 
Either way, I'm still going to rise. I'm not backing down. When you come from a place of wanting to make a good impact on the world, nothing's going to stop you. As a closing note, don't ever let anyone make you feel insecure or undeserving to be acknowledged for your uniqueness and greatness. Just because you embody certain things other people don't doesn't mean that you shouldn't acknowledge it. People are going to get jealous. People are going to try to dismiss having your greatness acknowledged any way they can just so that they don't have to feel jealous. It's all about jealousy. It really is, you know, and you're going to get it from all angles. That's life. But I'm here to advocate for people who are gifted, who are genuine, who are pure of heart. Okay. There are people on this planet who don't want us to be acknowledged and validated for our achievements and our divine um, purpose and talents because it makes them feel insecure. You need to stand up for yourself, embody the courage and the confidence that you have well deserved and gained throughout your life. That they don't have because they haven't put the work in, but yet they're trying to dismiss it. Yeah, don't let them do it. Don't. 